Hello, welcome back to New Blender channel. In this video, we will take a look at the all features of Blender. We will talk about modeling, sculpting, animation, texturing, rendering, compositing, simulations, 2D drawing, and much more that Blender allows us to do. I've tried to make this video as informative and interesting as possible, and I am sure it will be interesting for everyone, both for those who have been engaged in 3D graphics for some time and especially for beginners who don't always know what certain modes and functions of Blender are responsible for. I spent a lot of time on this video, so I will be very grateful for your likes and subscriptions. So let's move on the main part of the video. And we will start with modeling. I think it's not secret that the Blender is primarily a modeling program. At least this direction is the most popular among users. And it's no wonder, since this software provides a huge number of tools. And above all, there are various primitives such as planes, cubes, spheres and so on. So we can edit them with these tools, as well as various modifications of these tools. With their help we can create any object. But in fact, this is not all that the Blender allows us. There are a huge number of tools are hidden from us. Some of them we can find in the window above, other we can find in the search menu, and other are in the modifiers section. And modifiers is extremely interesting topic, so let's talk about it in more details. Modifiers are divided into several groups. Edit, Generate, Deform, Physics, Hair and Geometry nodes. All these groups of modifiers allow us to change or even create new objects. There are very useful tools which help us in modeling, sculpting, animation, simulation and so on. And the most interesting section is Geometry nodes. Geometry node system is used to procedurally generate or edit the geometry of objects using node-based operation or visual programming. But you don't need to know how to program and even basic knowledge of math will be enough to get started. Basically, you can create anything with geometry nodes. For example, various animations, simulate objects or generate entire environments. So the main advantage of geometry nodes is that this system is extremely flexible as we can create and configure our own parameters. This mode is similar to normal modeling, but differs in that we don't change individual elements such as vertices, edges and faces, but entire areas using special brushes. The process is similar to how you would sculpt something out of clay or plasticine in real life. It's most often used to create characters, but it's also common to create props or environment with help of sculpting since this mode allows you to create a very natural effect. And if you are interested in the topic of sculpting, then I can recommend you a course from the Wing Fox School. The author show how to create a cartoon scene with a dragon and a rider from scratches just using Blender. This course lasts just over 9 hours and consists of the stage of blocking, sculpting, detailing, painting, lighting creation, rendering and presenting the finished result. If you are interested, then I leave a link in the description under this video. And now let's go ahead and move on to the materials. Blender has a powerful system for displaying ready or creating your own materials. This system works on two render engines, Eevee and Cycles, which we will talk about a little later. In Blender, as in other 3D software, it's possible to add ready textures and use them in your project. But much more interesting procedural generation system. Like the system of geometry nodes, it's based on visual programming. With the help of certain combinations of nodes, you can achieve any results you need, generate realistic materials or abstract ones. In addition, Blender allows us to draw on top of object manually in texture paint mode and in vertex paint mode in sculpting, assign colors to individual points, which can be convenient for pre-texturing or quick texturing. Blender allows to move objects or their individual parts in time and space 
thereby creating animations. This system is built on the principle of keyframes. This allows you to simply identify the main events in the scene and Blender will do all the intermediate ones for you. But also in addition to the window for creating and viewing keyframes, Blender has graph editor, non-linear animation and a driver editor for creating unique animations or adjusting their parameters. So in Blender you can create animations for every taste, whether it is realistic films, stylized cartoons or something abstract in general. Some people even create 2D cartoons or combine 2D with 3D, but more on that later. Continuing the theme of animation, we cannot miss rigging and skinning. Rigging is creating of bones, mechanisms or other active system for your characters or other objects which allow you to animate objects. Skinning is the settings of the weights of these bones, which allows you to adjust the deformation of objects during animation. Blender also contains tools to simulate physics. So in the modifiers section there are different types of physics simulations, hard and soft objects, liquids and gases, particle systems to create various groups of objects and even ocean generator. Blender also has special objects for rubbing, gravity, charge and other forces. Blender provides us with the ability to supplement real videos with graphics. It provides with the help of the tools of Movie Clip Editor. So you can upload your videos, create special points for tracking and then supplement your scenes with whatever you want. And now we have gone through modeling, sculpting, texturing, animation and many other interesting things, so now it will be appropriate to mention render. As I said earlier, Blender has two render engines, Eevee and Cycles. And let's start with the second one. Cycles is a physically correct rendering tool. With its help you can make photorealistic and cinematic renders, which are perfect for both animations and static pictures. But of course everything has its price. And the price of a cool picture is time. And also this engine has been rewritten and significantly accelerated with the Blender version 3.0, render still takes a long time. But in addition to this engine, Blender also has a second. Its name is Eevee. It's essentially Blender's real-time rendering system, built using OpenGL, focusing on speed and interactivity. This engine, like the previous one, supports PBR materials, moreover, it is as close to cycles as possible. All the materials and lighting in this engine are similar to physically correct cycles. However, without a lot of tricks and visual deceptions, you won't be able to make the kind of image that cycles engine would make. But a significant advantage of Eevee that it's a real-time visualization system. Therefore, the rendering of pictures or even entire animations is very fast. But let's also mention another Blender engine. Workbench is a visualizer optimized for fast rendering while modeling and previewing animations. It's not intended to be a full-fledged visualization tool. Its main task is to display the scene in the 3D viewport during operations. But in fact, in quite specific cases, it's advisable to use this engine for the final render. Compositing is another area of graphics that the functionality of Blender covers. Using compositing nodes, you can merge multiple pieces of footage into a single final image. In this way, there is significant acceleration of the rendering stage, because there is no point in rendering the entire scenes at the same time if some elements don't interact at all. For example, we can easily add effects to individual layers and make color correction without affecting the entire image. And it's actually a very useful tool when creating complex scenes where color correction and effects plays a special role. And what we do when we have already reviewed and processed our video animation? In this case, Blender also have necessary tools.
In addition to modeling and animation, Blender can be used to edit videos using the video sequencer. It's a complete video editing system that allows us combine multiple video channels and effect to them. Grease Pencil is a kind of separate dimension of Blender. Because in addition to full-fledged 3D, Blender can be used for 2D and combining 2D and 3D graphics. You can paint with different brushes or in one plane or in many at the same time. It's possible to create animations, simulations, render and compositing. Even some anime studios use Blender in their workflow as it's very convenient when 2D and 3D graphics are combined in one program. And the last thing I would like to mention is the Blender add-ons. Here Blender is extremely developed since the program is open source and anyone can both create and share their Blender plugins. For each direction I mentioned in the video, there are add-ons. In addition, there are add-ons that are not directly related to the workflow. There is even an add-on for creating add-ons. So that's all I want to tell you about the possibilities of Blender. I tried to make this video as informative and interesting as possible. I will be grateful for your likes and subscriptions. So I wish you all the best and see you on the new Blender channel.